my name is Patrick Campbell, Ag Sales Rep at Richmond. Uh, myself, Jeff, we're going to be talking about some nutrient application equipment. Robert from Raven will be up here talking about some coolers on the NH3 bars. So we hope that um, our last session keeps you entertained and we can get some feedback from you, ask some questions if you have any questions on some stuff. I know you had a chance to look at the toolbar today. So if you got any questions on that, feel free to ask them while we're talking about them. First thing I'm going to start talking about today is John Deere's new high-capacity nutrient applicator. Looks very similar to what you see on the market today, but in our opinion, with our sprayers, one of our key components that we always drive home is operator comfort. And with the high-capacity nutrient applicator, you're going to get the same comfort in that machine as you are in your John Deere sprayer. So at the end of the day, when you go home, you're not going to feel like you've been in that spreader for 12, 14, 16 hours. With it, you're going to get the superior ride quality. You're going to get an 11% faster acceleration from 0 to 30 when you're loaded. So the key, the key to getting an optimal spread pattern is getting up to your spread speed in a timely manner. So with that, and us getting there 11% quicker, that's really helping us out. That's really helping you out. That's getting that spread pattern consistent, getting your nutrient applied consistent. You're going to have an improved ease of use with the updated controls. So everything's going to be on your right hand. So you're, you're not going to be needing to reach behind you for anything. You're not going to be needing to reach beside you. Nothing on your left hand side. So everything is on that right hand. So it's going to make it easier for you to operate. With the increased productivity, with superior ride quality, acceleration, durability, and operator, um, operator comfort. It does have the same 9 liter PowerTech engine in it that is in your 8R tractors. So that engine's rated at 365 horsepower with a peak of 400. So that's going to help you apply your nutrients on them tough trains. You get down into southeastern Indiana and there's some pretty hilly ground. So with that, we're going to be able to get up and down those hills while maintaining a proper spread pattern without losing and bogging down the engine. Same IVT transmission that's in your ADAR. The only difference is, is this one's programmed to run 30 miles an hour applying and 46 miles an hour down the road. So you're getting that fuel efficiency, that, the same fuel efficiency that you're getting in your ADAR tractor, you're going to see that in your 4365. And with the new liter beds, you can apply one to four products. Precision Ag, we're going to have the same components that you see in this sprayer. You're going to have your auto track, your section control, variable rate capabilities, uh, documentation capabilities, wireless data transfer. So if you go to the field and you spread and you pull up a variable rate map and the file's corrupt, well, always before you had to run back to, the, to wherever you drew your maps up at, get a new card, put it on there, run it back out, stick it in there. Well, now you'll be able to call up that location and say, hey, this file's corrupt. I'm deleting it. Send me a new one. Pops up on your screen, you hit accept, now you're ready to apply. JD Link remote display access, we'll be able to get in there and access that from a remote location if there is any issues. And the Ag Logic, which they didn't talk a whole lot about today. I'm going to show a quick video on it so that we can take a look at it and see what this machine's all about. Have you heard the great news? It's big and it's spreading fast. Meet the all-new F4365 High Capacity Nutrient Applicator from John Deere. When we say big, we mean a dry spinner spreader with this much capacity and swath width this large. And that's perfect for high speed spreading of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and lime at high volumes. And these days, that's very important. As new seed hybrids and higher yields pull more nutrients out of the soil, leading agronomists are recommending a higher volume application of nutrients to maintain soil health. The news about the F4365 is also big for another reason. As application windows in early spring and late fall keep getting tighter and tighter, the high capacity F4365 helps you cover more acres in less time. But it's the first rate ride quality that really sets the new F4365 apart. How much better is it? More than 30% better than the leading competitive four-wheel machine, according to test results. Ride quality this outstanding keeps you more focused and more productive throughout the day. We asked a number of operators to experience this new machine firsthand, and they all agree. 
They praise its incredible comfort and ease of use, delivering a boost in productivity. More and more ag service managers are now seeing the importance of operator comfort in their choice of equipment. We rely a lot on our applicator's input to the decisions we make in purchasing equipment. Number one, they are the most important asset we have to get the most efficiency out of a piece of equipment we buy. With that, we want their input so that the equipment matches the operator and them both is giving us our best return on investment for the company. We have great value in our operators. We want our operator to come in of an evening and have the ambition and desire to jump in tomorrow and do another Another extra 100 acres, 500 acres, whatever that number is, he does it with ease, accuracy, and confidence. Step inside the F4365, and you'll see our top-of-the-line Command View 3 cab, the same spacious office found in our bigger tractors. With industry-best visibility and roominess, the quiet cab gives you a productivity boost during long days. Take a seat by the smartly configured command arm for easy fingertip control. Capture, manage, and transfer data more efficiently with the 4600 Command Center display. And through our updated spread start, you can manage application rates of dry fertilizer, lime, and micronutrients for up to four bins. All important information is displayed on one screen, including auto track guidance, dry spinner spreader details, and variable rate and coverage maps. John Deere Precision Ag ties together machine control with data and fleet management for greater productivity. With the new F4365, you can spread N, P, K, and Lime at a wide variety of application rates. Plus, there's a choice of dry spinner spreader configurations to let you apply up to four different products at once. Supporting this higher capacity machine is a rugged chassis built to handle challenging terrain, whether you're applying lower rates on flat, dry land or higher rates on hilly chisel plowed ground. Add it all together, you can finish dollars ahead by spreading more acres in less time. This news is so big, you've got to experience the all-new F4365 for yourself. Ask your John Deere dealer for a demo and discover performance that pays. All right, so that is John Deere's, one of John Deere's newest pieces of machinery that you guys are going to start seeing as growers in our area. Um, it's, it's a product we're going to continue to push. I know it's not going to be a lot of a product that a lot of growers have, but it's something you're going to see. It's something we wanted you to know about that way down the road as, as you continue to grow your operations. It may be something that you look toward. Now, with that said, before we go on and talk about a couple of the different applicators, I want to talk about the um, for our nutrient stewardship strategy and, and what it really means and with that, what is the 4R strategy and how does Smith Implements support it? We're supporting it with the right equipment to satisfy it, meaning the right timing. We're going to align with the plant needs, whether it's late spring application, side dress application, the right rate. We want to avoid spring losses. If we can stretch that window out to where we're applying later in the season, then we're going to avoid spring losses when we've got a real wet condition. We're not leaching the nitrogen away. And we're going to make more informed decisions on nitrogen rates. The right form, NH3 is your most efficient and cost effective, while 28 is your safest form. So we've, we've got a product that's going to fit both of them needs. So whatever your operation is doing, we can currently help you do it in a in a possibly a better way, in the right place, whether you're injecting it, knifing it, and a condis consistent distance from the plant. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff and let him talk a little bit about the liquid applicator. I wanted to kind of show you some of the options. Deer hasn't always had the, uh, all the options that we have now as far as the choice between liquid application or anhydrous application. So now, um, here recently, we've added our liquid applicator, which is the 2510L. Uh, we have several different options on that now. We've got a, a 30 foot, we've got a 40 foot, and a 60 foot. Um, all those can be varied in two different combinations, either um, in a knife injection or in a, just a direct injection. Um, we all have a 24 inch colder. I know it shows on here 24 inch clearance, but as you'll see in a video too, we actually have closer to 30 inch clearance. Helps on crop damage. Um, each wing's 
the flex at the hinges, and we also have a single point tongue attachment where we can make tighter turns for, again, less crop damage. One other thing that's somewhat unique to it is we've got what we call a side kick. So as we lift up um, the toolbar, uh, the wings lift up. So when we're passing through, the dolly wheels on the outside aren't running over more crop. So we're saving quite a bit of crop on there. Um, more importantly, probably, is the fact that that higher clearance for later application and tighter turns. And uh, there's kind of a picture of, of our options on the colder. You can tell the colders are exactly the same, but then we have the knife and then we have the, the injection for your 28, depending on your preference there. And this, this video here kind of goes into a little more in depth and I'm big on visuals more than me standing up here and telling you all about it. I can give you the details, but I think seeing it uh, kind of puts it all in perspective pretty well. If you're a corn or cotton producer looking for a better solution for side dressing, it's time to look at John Deere. Introducing the new John Deere 2510L liquid fertilizer applicators. Two models, a vertical fold offering 30 and 40 foot widths, a side fold for a 60 foot width. Get tank capacity up to 2400 gallons, coulter spacing from 20 to 40 inches, row capability from 12 to 36. Get the precision fertilizer placement you need for maximum agronomic impact. Wing down pressure delivers consistent, precise soil penetration. A fully integrated John Deere solution system, John Deere section control and Green Star rate controller deliver precision fertilizer application with minimal costly overlaps. Minimize crop damage with up to 31 inches of frame clearance. Hydraulic wing kick lifts the wings in the turns and a single reach tongue makes it easy to turn tight and put the tires in the spaces, not in the rows. In side dressing, timing is crucial and the 2510L will be ready when you are. Designed and built to the reliability and durability standards you expect from John Deere with heavy duty frames, heavy duty coulters, and the proven John Deere solution system. And they're fully backed by your local John Deere dealer with parts and service for your machine and John Deere farm site services to help you optimize machine performance and logistics and put you in control of the application data that drives your agronomic decisions. There's much more to learn about the new John Deere 2510L liquid applicators. Ask your dealer for details and find out how we can help you achieve higher performance more uptime and a lower cost of operation with a side dressing solution that's truly a complete solution only from John Deere. One thing that I didn't mention earlier that that's nice about these liquid applicators too the way they're balanced we don't need as much horsepower to pull these either so the 30 footer the actually requirement only is about 150 horse we go to 175 on the 40 and only about 200 on the on the 60 footer so if horsepower becomes a little bit of an issue when you're trying to do doesn't the high speed applicator doesn't necessarily fit everybody's application for horsepower and speed where this one we can use one of our our smaller tractors and uh, and get the job done if you're doing liquid all right next we're going to discuss a little bit about the 2510h high speed low disturbance applicator i know i seen a few of you out here looking at it earlier does it look like a bar that may be something that would look good on your operate in your operation running ammonia at 10 miles an hour speeding you up in the spring I think I think it's something that we can all see being beneficial to our operations um, with that it is available in 11 15 and 23 row configurations uh, single disc opener it's got a ski on it instead of a gauge wheel to eliminate some of the bulldozing you'll see um, in high residue situations and then it is available with true set tillage so it's going to allow you to control your opener down pressure from the cab on the go so if you get into lighter soils and you, you need to raise that up a little bit you adjust that right there in your cab enhanced frame stability uh, during application and transport is one of the keys to a faster application so that we can achieve this 10 mile an hour application speed so the indus industry standard on nh3 application is six miles an hour so you're running four miles an hour faster 
yeah, it takes a little more horsepower to pull it, but who couldn't stand to be able to apply at 10 miles an hour? So instead of having to apply a month before planting, maybe you go out two weeks before planting. That way you're extending that window. You're, you're managing that nitrogen better. You're not putting it out there for the rains to wash away. With this, you're going to be able to cover more ground in more seasons, whether it's fall application, spring application, side dress. you got a 36-inch clearance on this bar, whereas most are in that 18 to 24-inch window. So you can wait a little bit longer if you need to when you go out there and side dress your corn. You can get over that 36-inch corn that you may want to, want to wait to get to. Or if we have a spring like we did a couple years ago where you were so delayed that you couldn't side dress some things. Well, now you've got a window with this machine where you can come back in a little later and still be able to side dress something. This product is also made with a dry attachment, which will help that 4R ease of execution. You're going to be able to manage your inputs better, and it gives you flexibility within your operation. This product, you can add the dry kit on all of the new machines that are 15 row. High speed application, three season, fall, spring, side dress. You're going to see three season a lot out of, out of this machine. Increased asset utilization. So whereas before, if you were spreading with an old spreader cart, you had a tractor on it, you had a tractor on your ammonia bar. With this machine, you now need one tractor. So that's one less tractor you need in your operation. That's more money in your bottom line. And precise subsurface nutrient placement. So this machine, with all of the John Deere technologies, this, this machine is capable of really putting that product where it needs to be. Earlier, you heard Travis talk about how nutrients, nitrogen is uptake within seven inches of that stalk. This product, depending on how, how we set our AB lines, we can set that to where it runs within that seven inch window. So you're getting more nitrogen, nitrogen to that plant instead of taking it and putting it right down into that 15 inch row where it can't really get to it until later on as the root, root mass grows. This product, with, the, with it, you're gonna get 380 high clearance flotation tires, integrated John Deere technologies, three season application nutrient reduction strategy. So with this, with, by that, what we're saying is that with us putting, helping you put the fertilizer where the plant needs it, you may not need 400 pounds of fertilizer per acre. You may only need 300 pounds. We're putting it where the plant needs it so that we're needing less of it instead of broadcasting it and leaving all that excess out there. One pass NH3 and dry nutrient application this does this in one pass. So the way it works is the way it's set up, it's going down through there, and you're putting your NH3 down. Your dovetail's covering and sealing it. It's laying a band of dry fertilizer over it, and then your closing wheels are closing in on top of that. 10-mile-an-hour application speeds. That's a 66% increase in productivity. Precise product placement. This is a big one. So... When we talk about that getting it right there in, within that seven inch window that, that nitrogen needs to be, plus or minus 4% row to row accuracy. So what that means is when you lift up on the end, you turn around. If you're 4% within six, seven inches, that's not a lot of room, not a lot of space that it's moving off of that AB line. So you're, you're gonna maintain that consistency across the whole field. Minimum soil disturbance. So there, there's, with the single disc openers, there's not a whole lot of disturbance in that soil. So you're not going out there and really tearing up a seed bed. You're not going out there side dressing and really ripping up that soil. Increase nutrient stewardship. Back to that four R's. So we find that we may need only 300 pounds. We're, we're actually not only in, increasing our bottom line, but we're being better nutrient stewards. 50% increased asset utilization, and match tank capacity. So if you've got a nine-ton anhydrous tank, you're going to put a nine-ton box on there so that you're matching it out and 
you're you're running out at the same time, so you're not having to stop and fill for one thing. But three rounds later, then you got to stop and fill something else up. Grower benefits is highly 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 productive, less weather sensitive than common strip till products. Variable rate capable, low disturbance. It's low ground draft means it's going to use 30% less fuel than conventional applicators. And a dual season use, fall use, spring use. So you're going to use it spring for pre-plant and side dress. You're going to use it in fall for fall application. Variable depth placement. So you're, you're placing them at two different levels. So when you place NH3 with other forms of fertilizer, they'll interact. Well, by separating them with soil, you're eliminating that interaction. And full technology capable. Anything that you can use with your technology is going to be available on this, on this machine. Here we go. Application speeds 10 miles an hour. It's exceeding the industry average of 6 miles an hour. One pass, it's taking less equipment to do the same job. So if you're spreading, which I know a lot of guys still spread their own fertilizer, you're eliminating that, that pass. You're putting it all in one pass. And integrating the John Deere technology, the rate controller 2000, which Jeff's going to talk about here in a little bit, section control, variable rate prescriptions, true set tillage, it's bringing it all together into one machine. Jeff's going to show a small video on this real quick. Every number tells a story. One pass, two nutrient forms, three seasons, and 4R Champion. Introducing the 2510H high-speed applicator with dry nutrient attachment. It's the all-new, all-in-one solution that not only fits your operation's needs and timing for application, but also the industry's 4R's nutrient stewardship strategy. As a proud partner of the 4R's, John Deere presents the new 2510H with dry as the new applicator that fits the 4R strategy better than any nutrient applicator on the market today. The 4R's start by choosing the right nutrient source. By adding dry application, you can now apply two nutrient forms at the same time and save up to $5 an acre by applying in one high-speed pass. It's got a higher ground speed. It's going to make you more productive. Now you have a tool that can apply one of three products depending on the economics. So that could be a big advantage down the road. Apply nutrients at the right time with one high-speed pass to feed crops when they need it most. By adding a six or nine ton dry tank to our field proven 2510H anhydrous bar, the result is a three season machine with even more capabilities for fall, pre-plant, and side dress applications. And by applying fertilizer closer to the time of crop uptake, you can split your rates and maximize crop yields, greatly reducing the risk of nutrient loss and environmental impact. The 2510H with dry has the potential to save me money on the cost of application and also on the timing of application, but it gives me the flexibility to decide whether or not I want to fertilize for a spring planted crop, you know, just days before I have to plant. Apply nutrients in the right place, closer to the root zone where they're more readily available. The new 2510H with dry incorporates your fertilizer directly into the soil to greatly reduce risk of surface runoff. Subsurface placement can net an extra 20 bushels or more per acre, according to several university studies. Well, we intend to use the 2510H dry applicator to uh, get our phosphates and uh, potassiums incorporated into the soil so that surface runoff is not a problem. We're going to try to do our part to keep those nutrients in the field where uh, they can do us good. We paid for them. We want to use them. Finally, you need to apply nutrients at the right rate for the best results. The dry metering system is designed with minimal variability to deliver all the row-to-row -row precision you expect. And you can apply fast, perfect for when application windows are tight. And I kept track of my acres and the pounds used as an operator. I don't want to make a mistake. And I was very confident after that first field that it was working spot on. Here's an inside look using this example of a side dress application in corn, applying both dry fertilizer, marked by the light green arrow, and anhydrous. 
Blue Arrow. From the dry tank, controlled amounts of dry fertilizer are evenly distributed through the metering chambers and carried to the delivery hose by the right amounts of anhydrous from a separate tube. Both nutrient forms flow downward to the ground, where you see opener blades have cut a trench for placement between the crop rows. You see both dry and liquid forms released into the trench with minimal soil disturbance. Closing wheels then seal the soil to assure fertilizers are captured in the soil at the correct depth. It's a sound strategy to reduce fertilizer costs and get plants the nutrients they need, when they need them, to enhance yields. It's far more than economics, though. It's about keeping nutrients in the field and reducing any potential runoff. The numbers say it all. One pass, two nutrient forms, three seasons, and 4R Champion. The all-new, all-in-one 2510H high-speed applicator with dry nutrient attachment is the fully integrated solution you expect from the leader. See your John Deere dealer today for details. All right, now as we all know, and we've seen in other states, they continually um, are coming out with new regulations. So. Fertilizer is getting more and more regulated. This product right here is really going to help us move forward as some of these regulations get handed down to where you may only be able to broadcast spread in certain areas. If you're within so many feet of a watershed, you may not be able to, sp to broadcast spread fertilizer. It may have to be banded. So in, in our area, there's a lot of watersheds. Uh, you got Blue River, you got Flat Rock River, and hey, if you're within, I can see that it happening like it's happened in Iowa already. If you're within a certain area there, you can't broadcast spread. It's got to be put in the ground, incorporated. So with that being said, I can, I can see this being a big player in the future. Does anybody have any questions on it? All right, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff and let him talk about some rate controllers. One thing we wanted to mention, I don't know, in the past, if you've run applicators, you know that we needed a dry, a dry rate controller and we needed a liquid rate controller. <clears throat> now we've got a rate controller called a Rate Controller 2000 that will actually run both liquid and dry at the same time simultaneously, up to four products. Um, that eliminates the need to have separate rate controllers going across going across it. If any of you have done the, as an example, Ag Spectrum deal where you've got extra fertilizer in different places, it takes, used to take multiple uh, rake controllers and now we can tie it into one, into one harness, one controller, and uh, run everything from our 2630 or, or Gen 4. Um, and those can be updated and retrofitted easily. The other thing that we want to talk about on this, and this just basically goes over what we just discussed. We can do our section control, our map-based prescriptions, our field documentation, everything we could do with all our other rate controllers, except for now we can do it multiple products and liquid or dry. Um, the coolers, so Patrick talked a lot about speed. The only way we can get that kind of speed and be able to flow is to have um, either dual coolers or what now John Deere's got is a um, Vortex cooler which it'll run about 60% more than what even a dual cooler or single cooler would and about 25% more than a, than a dual cooler would. Um, all the new 2510Hs have got those on them. If you've got an older toolbar that doesn't have that, we do make retro kits that uh, then you can go to the, the Vortex system. To, uh, to go into a little bit more detail, I'm gonna turn it over so that you can go into uh, the ins and outs of it. Thank you. I'll just talk real quick. Can you back up one slide on that, possibly for me? So, um, just want to talk about some of the differences there. On the far right side uh, is our, our standard AccuFlow system we've had around for several years, and uh, over here on the left is the Vortex system. Just to kind of give you a few details, we've got a cutaway over here on the Raven table. Let's talk about that. One of the main features what we focused on was, you know, like the, like you said before, more performance out of it. But there's several other safety features, uh, usability features that we've added to it. One of the big things is, uh, you look in the middle of this unit here on the left, we've got these orange connectors, and you can see that over on the demo. Those are called a groove lock connector. So, how many of the guys in the group are running NSERV currently? 
Okay. Anybody run into experiences with inserve clogging up flow meters? Yep. And some head nods. So uh, we've seen that problem out there uh, quite a bit. So we decided to go figure out a way to work around that so guys aren't having to pipe wrench, uh, take a system apart and over, you know, an hour and change or whatever. However good you are with the pipe wrench, take it apart. So we've added a bleeder system to the Vortex cooler setup. So it will bleed down in 20, 30 minutes versus an hour and change. Um, and also with the groove lock connectors, now in a matter of, you know, five minutes with a set of wrenches, you can take it apart, get that flow meter out, clean the inserve, put it back in, and away you go again. So um, two safety things and, in, in, you know, a usability thing that we've added to really speed it up. Aside for adding larger diameter um, piping throughout the system with the stainless setup, uh, we've gone away from the Schedule 80, and it's all stainless through there. Uh, went to an inch and a half versus an inch and a quarter, so gave it more performance. And then, uh, as you can see with the cutaway, we've added some flighting to it. So when you go to the next slide here for me, the big change was is the effect in the cooling performance the, the flighting gave us. So we were seeing a vapor barrier, or our heating uh, chamber basically build up on the left-hand side on the, the standard AccuFlow at the top. Basically, that area would cool to a certain level, but it would never really mix as well, and, and it would just hold that, that heat right there. So we added flighting in, and it kind of helps move the product, swirls it around on through. Um, as you can see, we've also changed the diameter of the center tube, so that also adds to the cooling effect. So some performance things that we've increased there, along with usability and, and uh, um, safety-wise, that really the big, big difference between it. So... Um, less of a footprint on the toolbar, so you've only got one set of seals to replace. Uh, that's another thing we've changed. The seals are a lot easier, more of a rounded O-ring versus the old flat face type if anybody's ever taken them apart. So some improvements um, that are available with the, the Raymond AccuFlow system, so through the John Deere channel. So. With that, I want to touch one more piece on the yield, or the 360 Yield Center products, um, the wide drops. So most Everybody in here does some form of spray, whether you're doing late season fungicide. So I know a lot of the talk has been the high clearance with the Hagee and the Y drops. So we've also got customers that are running the Y drops on this machine. Yeah, you can't get over 74 inch corn, but if you go back to Travis's slide earlier when it talks about the need for nitrogen. So your need for nitrogen is after that V9, V10 window. You're, you're talking later in the season. So if you can take this machine, if you've already got this machine, and you're not ready to upgrade to that machine to get the high clearance, but you still want that late season application, you can still put the Y drops on this machine and take this out and have a high clearance machine. You're still getting 60 inches of clearance. Getting over 60 inch corn is better than getting over no, no corn at all if you're looking to move to a late season application. So with that being said, for a 60-foot section, I wanted to share some pricing with you. So you're roughly around that $16,000 range to outfit either one of these sprayers with the Y-drops. Now, that's just the Y-drops. That's not the undercover. When you bring the undercover in, you're looking at about $22,000, and that's putting a 60-foot section on there so that you can go out and you can apply your late-season nitrogen that the industry is, is pushing us towards. And in, in all honesty, we're needing to push that direction because we're seeing some tremendous yield differences with them. So with that, um, you can talk to your parts guys about them, you can talk to your sales guys about them, um, whoever you're dealing with on a regular basis. If it's something that interests you, I urge you to sit down and talk with your sales pro about it because this is something that even though it's, there's a little bit of sticker shock there when you first hear it, this is something that is really beneficial. And when you talk about paying for itself, it does in a short period of time, especially when we have a year like 2015, when you see the yield data that Travis showed earlier of like 59 bushel difference. That's gonna pay for itself pretty darn quick. With that, we want to thank you from all of us here at Smith Implements, um, from the sales, parts, service, the management team. Thank you for attending today.